How's it going guys? In today's lesson we're going to be going over how we can create our very own website from scratch without any coding knowledge required. And we are going to be using some templates but I'm going to be showing you how you can purchase a domain name and how you can host your website for free using card.co. And the website can look like this, there are many templates to choose from but these are some very professional looking templates that you can easily set up in case you have an application you want to showcase or you want to show your employer that you're a serious programmer and you want to create some sort of portfolio. This is a great place to start because it looks professional and is very easy to set up so you don't have to waste all that time learning HTML, CSS and JavaScript and so on when you want to concentrate on something else. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started with buying a domain. And I'm going to be using Namecheap for this because I found this to be the easiest and cheapest option for buying a domain name. Now the hardest part of course will be having to come up with a domain name that is not taken. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and type in Code Palace, tap on search, and I'm going to pick the cheapest one since this is a tutorial and they actually can get as cheap as $4 or even $3. Let's see if there's anything cheaper. Yeah, we're gonna go for the one that says shop and we're going to add that to the cart. Now, once you've gone ahead and picked a domain name, you can go ahead and click on checkout and I actually have two items in here for some reason. Here's safebananafruit.com, which was going to be the original example I'm not going to be using that. In this example, we're just going to take the domain registration for codepalace.shop and it's going to include domain privacy and there's a lot of add-ons you can take. It even has an SSL certificate that you can purchase. I do not recommend this because a lot of websites give you this for free anyway. So in this example, we can just ignore any add-on and just buy this website for $2. So we'll go ahead and tap on confirm order. Now inside here, of course, you need to go ahead and fill out your contact information and insert your credit card details. I'm going to do this all ahead of time and then skip to the next step. And right before you continue, you can go ahead and look at these boxes over here because they offer you some nice services such as some renewal settings for your domain in case you don't want that to expire and you want to make sure that you have it the next year. Go ahead and select the boxes that you want the free domain privacy for codepalace.shop. There's no reason not to select that since it is free at the moment. So I'd go ahead and select this and the domain registration if you want to renew it. This is just a demo video of course, so I'm not going to be renewing that part of it. Then go ahead and click on continue. Now on the next page, we're going to have the order confirmation. And as soon as you tap on pay now, the website is going to be registered under your name. Then we're going to arrive to this confirmation page where now we own the domain. So the next thing to do is to go to our Namecheap account and we're going to just click on account and tap on domain list. And in the domain list, we're going to have all the domains that belong to us, such as codepalace.shop and my other domain, which is piecontent.com. So what we want to do here is go ahead and tap on manage. And now we own the domain, so we can actually redirect that to any page we like. So if we go to advanced DNS, this is the page where we're going to be doing all the work. So for example, right now we have two records. One is the URL redirect record, which redirects to www.codepalace.shop. And our main domain is the parking page at Namecheap. So I accidentally deleted the parking page somehow but it's easy to get that back. We just need to go to the C name and the C name is where we can enter the www prefix to our domain. So every time you add this, it's going to go to this target. And ideally we want this target to be codepalace.shop. And this is just your domain name, of course. So we can actually save that by tapping on this arrow over here. And here we can just change this to something such as google.com and it really wants you to add all the details such as HTTPS ahead of that. So now everything that has www will be redirected to codepalace.shop and that's going to be redirected to google.com. And DNS changes are not immediate. They can take up to an hour or more to actually take effect. 
and usually it can take less than five minutes but sometimes it does take longer so you need to be patient when you're making changes here and as I mentioned earlier this process actually can take a lot of time so it might be worth it to go ahead and actually try to create your website while this is refreshing and making everything work correctly because right now if we go to let's say codepalace.shop it's going to give an error or it's going to show that the website does not exist yet because it's still refreshing the DNS settings and that can take some time. So in the meantime that this actually initializes, we're going to go ahead and open card.co and I left a link to this website in the description box down below. But as soon as you get here, you can go ahead and choose a starting point. We're going to have to sign up for this website using the pro membership, which is approximately $19 per year, which is very cheap for a professional website with website hosting. And let's go ahead and click on something a bit simple. And let's just pretend we want this one over here. You can go ahead and select it or you can demo it. And it's going to say that this is a pro feature and we need pro because we want to use a custom domain. And this comes with SSL certificates, which is great for your website. So go ahead and click on select plus start free trial. It's going to say you have seven days left. And here you can go ahead and already start customizing your website however you like. And it's such an easy editor. All you have to do is tap on the element you want to edit and you can insert whatever text you want. We can say Lamau and it's going to be there and it looks wonderful. Then we also have some social links at the bottom and a sign up form and there are plenty of templates such as this one. So all you have to do is fill it out with the text and the links that you want to insert. But as soon as you have a website that you love, you can go ahead and tap on this save icon and it's going to ask you to create an account. So here I'm just going to say code palace for the name. The email can be code palace at fastmail.se. Then we're going to go ahead and create a password and we have a pro trial so we can test out all the features of course in case you don't like it but let's go ahead and accept the terms and conditions we can say this is code palace shop and here we want to go ahead and publish this to a custom domain so inside here you'd want to insert the domain of your choice and of course it should be your domain and it's going to be code palace.shop and thanks to this, it's going to generate for you this over here, which allows you to host this link on this server over here and this server over here. And it's really important you actually remember these settings. You can find them later on in card, but what we need to do also is give this website a description. So we can say the official code palace shop. Then with this information here, let's go ahead and copy the first IP address, go to advanced settings, go here, type in a record, and you want to insert that IP address with the at sign ahead of it. And we need to add both of them. So here we have another at sign. We'll go back to card and we'll copy this over here and paste it inside this part right here. And previously we already added the www extension. So we don't need to do that anymore. And we can actually remove this URL redirect and say delete the record and save all the changes. And this is all the setup you need to make it go to your personal website on card. But of course we also need to publish this website. And it actually says we have some unfinished elements. So I'm going to quickly edit that. So it just wants us to upload these images. And I'm just going to put the Pythonized logo in each one of them. And finally, just one more image and open it and accept it. Then we can tap on done, tap on save. And as soon as you filled out everything, we can go ahead and publish this. Now it's also important that you actually verify your email address or some of the features might not work. So I opened up my email service, I tapped on the link and now all I have to do is tap on verify account and the services should work. And right now the website is initializing. So codepalace.shop does need some time to complete before we can actually use it. And there's not much we can do about that. We do need to wait before we can actually go to our website. So I actually just went ahead and took a break, but it has been about 30 minutes that I have been idle. And now we can actually go ahead and tap on this link over here, codepalace.shop. 
and it's going to be our own personalized domain name with the website that we decided to add. But if we want to make changes, we can go ahead and click on this pencil over here. And at any moment, we can go ahead and restore the last session and edit this as we please. So here we can go ahead and say Code Palace Shop, for example. And if we go ahead and click on Save and publish the changes, it's going to publish it. And the next time we open the site, we should have the published changes such as codepalace.shop. And if we go back to our dashboard, we can create another website if we please. It can literally be any website we like, and it's the same method to connect other domain names. Now, this is still the seven day trial, and after seven days, all the changes are going to be deactivated. So what you need to do to maintain this is go to Pro and select this Pro Standard Plan for $19 a year. Now, if you do decide to go with card.co, please do consider adding Code Palace down here. It's going to act as a referral, and that means I'm going to get a few credits, which of course I can use with card. So please consider doing that. Otherwise, go ahead and select the pro plan, and all you need to do is purchase it, and you're going to have your website here hosted for $19 a year. And for this website, it's going to be a total cost of around $30 per year, which is a really low cost for something so simple and so professional. But anyways, guys, that's actually all I wanted to cover in today's lesson. Of course, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave that in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Otherwise, with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.